Hello there, just grabbing my guitar. It's the first video since I've been awake. And I was telling my friend and my mom about how I go through different stages of alertness or consciousness, whatever you want to call it, uh, throughout the day. And um, so it's 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. now. I woke up around 1 or 2 and uh, I've had half of what I'm allowed uh, in terms of my anti-anxiety pills. I've had a lot of caffeine as well and I feel like I am just about in the right space and of course also the more you practice in one day, like I think breaks are important, but if you practice with breaks, uh, you get better each time. And then as my friend told me, and this, this sounds almost like a religious belief, but when you sleep, your brain um, goes over what you did. So uh, another thing I was told was uh, this, I was given advice over how I should be picking. I'm going to move over a bit. Okay, so I can't repeat how he said it, but I'm going to try to follow. So, to use my own words, maybe they're his words, who cares? Um, I just lightly go past one, and then I let my pick rest on the next string. So if I'm doing one note at a time, I go one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is the same motion that if I were to do quickly would turn into a strum. I think he also said I should use as much as the uh, of the tip, the the most pointed part, to focus on that. Um, I told him I had problems where sometimes I would I would try to pluck one but I would pluck two and I told him uh, it's some I think it's learning to pluck, pick and all that it's somewhat comparable to when a child learns to write where you can give them advice so that that O isn't circular enough but uh, most of it comes down to the child having a little notebook, at least this is what happened in my day, and you just write A, B, C, D, so it's just, you know, I think you can get what I'm saying, just repetition. I don't want to spend too much time just strumming the same thing over and over because I do want this video, these videos in general, to have some minor kind of entertainment value. That doesn't sound That sounds more like a strum, but then, but I'll figure it out. So 
and so we did E, E minor, and E7, which are my fundamentals. I've basically been learning those, especially E and E minor, I've been basically learning those from the very first video, maybe not the first video, but no, so uh, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three. This is, I'm going to work on the variation of E6, and my friend gave this to me, saying it was more natural, and I don't know if I wrote the tab wrong, but it's supposed to look like that. I don't know if you can see that. And this is the most unnatural, one of the most unnatural <laughs> things I've ever um, attempted to do. Um, so he was saying this will make it easier to pick, play E6, but it's, for me it's just making it harder. But I think it's something good to practice just for the fact that it, uh, it's, it's like yoga for your hands. That's wrong. So I'm basically getting none of the notes. Yeah. So the alternate theory I have is that this fingering is supposed to be like this. who gave me the advice, but I'm really going to have to stick with the incorrect plucking. Just so I can get a feel of uh, how I'm doing in this position. I have, uh, which I don't know if you're noticing, my ring finger is on the fifth string and my middle finger is on the fourth string, index on the first string, and then uh, pinky on the second string. And this is not how the chart told me to do it, but I'm going to try to do it this way. that. And then, uh, finally, I'm sorry if you don't like the narration, but uh, it's helping. It's not just for you, it's also for me. The next string is E major 7. friend for his advice, I am going to do it his way. to be honest. 
honest. I mean, as a, I, I'm a novice or like what a noob, like whatever. I realized I'm gonna have to make a new playlist after 200 videos of this, and I'm thinking the second playlist of 200 to 400, number 200 to number 400 video. I'm going to call the second playlist Beginner, because I don't think I am even a beginner yet. Okay. So this whole alternate plucking is really slowing things down. practically makes me feel like I, I mean, I don't mean this as a joke, I mean, honestly, I feel like I could have some kind of, I was going to say a mass fit, like to be polite, I'll just say some kind of like muscle disorder. Uh, but uh, it could also be that I'm new and I don't know the fundamentals. <laughs> those two notes I kind of slipped and it kept going so I have to avoid slipping uh, yeah and that's where what I said about the child's just repetition drawing the same thing over and over again uh, how, where that comes in so, um, A minor. And, uh, this is the bar that, well, one of the bars that I feel I could do. And I was, I was actually someone linked me, he said I should start transcribing, and uh, we got into a bit of an argument. Anyways, from the website he linked me, I found, I think, what's called the tablature. I really don't know the words, so if I'm getting them wrong, I'm sorry. But basically, uh, it's a text file that tells you how to play an entire song. And I was starting to translate, there's a system where you say six numbers, so for example, um, I think it usually starts from the sixth string, so if I were to put one finger on the sixth string, and then the rest were just open, it would be one, zero, 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 zero. and if I did two fingers on the sixth and fifth, it would be one one zero 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 so that's a way to read uh notation whatever uh so anyways i found a link to one of my favorite songs how to play it and i started to translate the number version into um a graphical representation which i find easier to read and basically the whole song consists of bar, co bar co chords, <laughs> sorry about my language, um, and uh, bar co chords are very hard, but I think they're hard for everyone who's just learning, and this is, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm, all I'm doing here is four, three is easier, and two is easier to stall, but I think I can do this. Was a very long-winded uh, setup to introduce A6, but I just thought I'd keep you updated if you're actually watching.
to do the seas. And I'm I'm so conflicted. I really want to go back to the old style of picking. And the new style is kind of cool and I like doing it. Just I, I like honoring the fact that my friend offered me help. But for the sake of just getting through this, maybe it's a bad habit, but I'm going to use the picking that I know best. Uh, or I'm, I don't know, I'll go back and forth or something. <coughs> so that would be C major 7. Now, okay, so C6, it basically goes X, 0, 2, 2, 1, 3. That's C6. And the 2, 2, theoretically I could bar that, but that's in the middle of the fretboard. And that seems very complex for me to attempt. So I use two fingers. So I think that's C6, and all we have left is C minor. I feel like I'm starting over from the beginning with this new style of picking, but that's not so bad, I guess. Um, and we wanted to do D. What happened to my Ds? Oh, I had my Ds. My Ds were right there, I was just ignoring them. Okay. So... specific I'm not talking about. You basically don't know what I'm talking about. to say 
my friend told me this is basically an E, and he, I think he said there were some closed strings, but I forget the. I, I, I didn't take in the whole conversation. So let's just play this as if it were a D. And we can, that's actually part of a different song. Um, and we can think about that later, and it's all written down in my computer, so unless there's a nuclear explosion, talking with a guitarist voice. Like I was listening to this live um, performance and the performer spoke uh, in a non... the performer wasn't singing but the performer was talking in the normal voice and I was like, oh, that's such an unattractive voice but it, when the performer sings it's an attractive voice and uh, I don't think that's the resting socialization voice, if that makes sense. But, um, like, when you're in the middle of focusing on the guitar, I think you develop a different voice that's distinct from singing and distinct from talking to a person. I hope you understand that. I think that was pretty well explained. sounded like wood being scraped. <laughs> punching people in the face. Boom, boom. So when I have to do something tiny like that, um, my hand's like, no, we want to punch. We want to punch someone in the face. So...
this is an odd little duck. No, I can't do that. Sit up. surprised when I pull that off. <laughs> That's B major 7. Uh, so there's B6 which involves two bars. Let's just, for the sake of whatever, let's just pretend like we might be, no, no. <laughs> I think it, I, I basically have to go like that and I'm not doing that. My pinky is not strong enough to support that legislation. Uh, so BBM6. I think, I feel like I did this already. seems pretty solid actually uh, and it, it is on the complicated side so here's another one that I could theoretically borrow if I knew what I was doing now we're on to the F's and my favorite F which is either F7 or F major 7 So this is three. Which is a little bit tricky if I remember. I guess no more than like C7. But C7? That's, that's, I guess it's not as bad as C7. Anyway, F5. Everything's muted. opposite of this. Yeah, so that, I just thought I'd point that out. So, what is that? Um, oh no, no, it's not the opposite. But then I, was I playing it wrong, or? Yeah, I was, I, I was just not paying attention. Okay. F6. Yes, I can borrow two strings when they're on the edge. And one open. And that's all, folks.
for that part of the video. I'm just going to look at the camera and see we're recording and we are at 30 minutes. Um, so I am a little worn out but I do have energy for some of this. This I have, okay, the, the correct clocking, this one, it's different, so. so perfect I'm not even going to repeat it because I'll just I'll fuck up my brain if I do feeling if I made that an even wider sweep it would uh, be even more effective. Anyways, the new one, uh, let's start at 5. These things like to start at 5. enough of that because obviously I have a distaste for it just because it's hard so I don't want to do it so I don't like this because it's hard uh, but uh, obviously I'll get better and I'm not going to give up on it just because it's hard I just don't want to practice it too much right now because if I develop a hate for it you know how these things go at least in my mind that's how it works against the machine.
right, but moving on. See, the, the idea of moving on when I haven't perfected it, that uh, is something you learn in improvisational theater. If you make a mistake when improv, like no script or anything, you just keep going, and I think it applies to other things anyways. So we're done, and I just want to say yes, it applies to improv, and it applies to timed writing. And it even applies way, way, way back in grade two when you were learning to spell, and the teacher said, just write out a story, don't worry about the spelling. I don't know if that ever happened to you. Uh, okay, so here we go.